Brigadier General Rafael Del Pino's passion, dedication, and perseverance in his flying career played a very important role in the development of the Cuban Air Force during the Cold War. Born on 22 September 1938 in Piñar del Rio, Cuba, Brigadier General Rafael Del Pino grew up with a strong passion for the aviation world. In 1958, he joined Castro's guerrillas to fight for freedom with whom he fought until the triumph of the revolution on January 1, 1959. After the national uprising, Del Pino decided to join the Cuban Air Force, where he began his flying training. In April 1961, Del Pino received his baptism of fire, flying 10 combat missions in 72 hours, resulting in the downing of two B-26 light bombers and the sinking of several vessels during the Bay of Pigs invasion. For these impressive air performances, he was declared a hero of Playa Giron by Fidel Castro. During the Cuban Missile Crisis in October 1962, his accomplishments earned him the title of Air Force Assistant to Fidel in the Cuban Central Command Post. After commanding the country's largest Air Force base, Del Pino traveled to the Soviet Union for advanced aerial training, where he flew almost every Soviet combat aircraft available. He also attended one of the most prestigious military institutions, the Soviet Air Force's Yuri Gagarin War College, where he graduated in 1965. In 1966, Del Pino was appointed the General Director of Cuban de Aviación after the military intervention of the National Airline. He flew commercial aircraft such as the Ilyushin IL-14 for two years before rejoining the Cuban Air Force. Del Pino went on to serve two tours in Vietnam, first in 1968 as an advisor to the North Vietnamese fighter pilots and a second tour in 1975 inside South Vietnam where he experienced the collapse of Saigon to the Viet Cong. After Vietnam, Del Pino participated in Cuba's first major international military intervention in Africa, commanding the air forces of the Cuban Expeditionary Force in Angola. In 1983, Del Pino was promoted to the rank of Brigadier General, being assigned as Deputy Chief of the Cuban Air Force and Air Defenses. In the last part of his military career, General Del Pino gradually became frustrated with Castro's refusal to implement political reforms in the island. So, in May 1987, he decided to break away from the regime and fled with his family to the United States. With more than 9,000 flying hours from commercial aircraft to military fighters and great experience as a military leader, Brigadier General Del Pino defines himself as a man who loves aviation at all costs.